I'm Board of Education President Nicholas Ciapetta with a recap of the March 24th board meeting. This meeting was extremely productive with a number of important business items conducted. First, the Board of Education voted to return grade 6 and 8 students to full-time instruction on April 11th, subject to the monitoring of community and school transmission rates of COVID-19. At a special meeting on April 8th, the board will review these rates and discuss a timetable for the return to full-time instruction of grades 7, 9, and 10. Importantly, the hybrid and remote models will remain in place until further notice. Next, the board voted to reorganize administrative positions at the district office and to create a new position titled Assistant to the Superintendent for Elementary Education grades K through 6, to which the board then appointed Dr. Gail Steele of Maplewood. The board also announced the promotion of current Walton High School principal, Dr. John Murphy, to the position of assistant superintendent for curriculum and instruction. The board congratulates Dr. Murphy and Dr. Steele on these promotions and know that they will bring their enormous talents to central office and create a dynamic administrative team. The Board of Education then voted to authorize the district to enter into a contract to sell the teen center to 310 West Hills Road LLC for $910,000, and then further voted to enter into a contract for sale with Dina Properties LLC for the former Central Softball Field in the amount of $800,000. Both of these sales are subject to voter approval at the May 18th budget vote and board elections. The district would then use the proceeds of the property sales for safety, security, and infrastructure improvements throughout the whole school district. Additionally, the board approved the memorandum of agreement between the district and the South Huntington Paraprofessional Association for a new five-year contract to run through June 30th, 2025. Lastly, the board took the first step in establishing an ex officio non-voting student member of the Board of Education. This student, which must be a high school senior, would be entitled to sit with the board at all public meetings and hearings and to participate in such meetings. This action is also subject to voter approval at the May 18th budget vote. As you can see, this was a jam-packed meeting filled with significant decisions that will shape the future of our district. I hope that you'll be able to join us at our upcoming meetings on April 8th, 20th, and 27th. Until then, be well.